Hi, Free Body Family. What is a trigger point anyway? Why am I doing all this stuff? Coming up next. So I really wanted to unpack this, like what is a trigger point? Why am I doing this stuff? Why do I have these points in my body that hurt so much? Why do they cause me pain? What's going on in there? I really want to help you understand this. I'm writing a book right now all about trigger points and fascia and the brain and all how all these things interplay together to limit our ro range of motion, to cause us pain, to just wreak havoc on our bodies. Like what's going on in there? And I felt it really important to share some of this with you because trigger points are always happening in your body. You have a bunch in your body right now that might be limiting your range of motion, that might be causing you pain, and you may not even be aware of all the trigger points that you have until you slip and then suddenly you can't get back up. So trigger points are focal points of tension in muscles. They've been studied for getting close to a hundred years now that some of the earlier trigger point work was first being developed in the 40s, 50s, 60s. This woman named Janet Travell started gathering doctors all over the world talking about these phenomena that, it, that happen in the body that can cause pain and loss of mobility. And so since then, more and more studies have been done to help us understand what is going on in the muscle and when we have a trigger point, what effects a trigger point has on our bodies. And I wanna lay some of this out for you today in this video. So as I said, a trigger point is a focal point of tension. It's a part of the muscle that is stuck in contraction. It's not letting go. It's just in there kind of squeezing and gripping and stuck in contraction. Now in a healthy muscle, you have a part that contracts and then a part that's relaxed. And then as this part contracts, this part releases. And then as the next part contracts, that releases. It's kind of a flowing pattern so that one part of your muscle isn't overused because we don't need to use the entirety of the power of our muscles to pick up a feather or move a chair. Like we don't have to activate all the parts of the muscle. And then we keep a little bit of contraction in there, but in a flowing pattern. That's what tone is. Now, when you have a trigger point, it means that this part is contracted while this part is relaxed. This part contracts, this part stays contracted. This relaxes, this part contracts, this stays contracted. So one part of your muscle is getting stuck in contraction. It's not letting go. And that's where the trouble happens. When you have a trigger point, you have that part of the muscle that's stuck in contraction and then when they have when scientists have extracted like fluids from around a trigger point they found a whole messy bunch of stuff around there they found inflammation they found um, more pain receptors they found um, a very acidic environment and that's important a trigger point leads to an acidic environment in the tissue which makes the tissue less able to do its job. That muscle becomes weak when there's a trigger point. That's really important because if you're walking around and your hip just kind of starts giving out, you know, I want you to think, oh, I have trigger points in there, not, oh, I'm just getting old and my muscles are getting weaker. Like that's probably not what's going on. It's probably that you have some trigger points in there that are making your muscles weak. So trigger points also can cause pain. There's a trigger point up toward the top of the thigh that causes pain in the knee joint. There's a trigger point in muscles in the neck that can press on the nerve and cause you radiating numbness and tingling down your arm into your fingers. There's trigger points in this muscle in the sternocleidomastoid in your neck that cause headaches and headaches at the front of the head sinus pressure. There's a lot of different feelings of pain and discomfort, radiating numbness and tingling, aching, a deep ache is a classic trigger point symptom. So there's all these things that we feel in our bodies 
that actually often are caused by trigger points. When you are doing your self-trigger point release, I tell you right where to go because I have learned the maps because every body tends to gather trigger points in the same places if they have trigger points in those muscles. Let me say that a different way. If I have headaches that go up the side of my neck and wrap around the side of my head, I think in my mind, oh, that's upper trapezius. And then if someone comes to see me and they have headaches that ache on the side of their head and wrap around the side of their head, I go, oh, that's upper trapezius. I know where to go and I know where to tell you to work in your body because the symptoms tend to be the same from person to person with those same trigger points. So it's really helpful to understand that trigger points cause that aching cause that weakness can cause pain because then that can empower you to go, I should explore my body and see where I'm holding these trigger points. Or if you have a backache or a knee problem or you sprained your ankle five years ago, but that ankle is still a little weak, it's probably that those trigger points are still in those tissues causing that weakness, causing that ache causing that loss of stability in your body. And that's so hopeful. That's great because then we can just go to where the trigger points tend to live and we can roll them out, rub them out, use a percussion massager, do the things with the balls that we do to release those trigger points from the body. So I hope that was helpful to you. I just wanted to get on here and let you know what actually is a trigger point. It's a focal point of tension in your muscles. If you're holding tension in your muscles, you have trigger points and eventually they can cause you a whole bunch of problems, weakness, radiating sensations, a deep ache. And in the next video, I'm going to talk to you about where you might feel your pain and what kinds of symptoms you have if you have trigger points in your body. Thanks so much for watching. Drop a comment below. Let me know if this was helpful or if it stirred up more questions. Please ask me. I'm happy to respond and we got this. Let's do this together.